basically what you're describing is called the channel Jared's here too <laughs> what's up guys <laughs> and we got Finn we got the whole family this oh morning, yeah guys. we've had a good morning so far I know got up worked out showered so and I got one, dressed two, from the top half up because I have a neurologist appointment later. He does, and he wants to look nice and professional. Still not 100% on his shirt yet, but we'll see. You guys, we will get into that in just a second. But first, as many of you guys know, there is something very special happening this weekend. It is Father's Day coming up Woo! this Sunday, which we are so excited about. We're actually a little bit bummed because- Yeah, we can't be with our dads. We can't be with our dads in person, mm -hmm. but we are doing Zoom calls with yeah. them, which will be a Zoom lot of Zoom fun. calls, we got some gifts on the way. Yes, and for any of you that have been here a while, you know how awesome both of our dads are. We love them so much. <laughs> all the male figures in our life. Yeah. This little dog dad right here yeah. as well. And all of our awesome grandparents, uncles, you name it, all the guys out there need to be celebrated. Oh yeah, so, totally. In fact, we want to know what you guys are doing for Father's Day. Yeah, what are you guys doing for Father's Day? Anything fun? I feel like growing up, we'd always do like a Father's Day barbecue. Oh, uh, barbecues, grill. I miss those. Yes, I miss those Maybe too. we'll have to do one just like in honor of them. Yes, for <laughs> sure. I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys an awesome gift idea mm -hmm. that we actually did for my dad last year yeah. and he loved it, you yeah, guys. Yeah, he absolutely loved it. I don't know about you, but sometimes shopping for dads or male figures is a little bit difficult for me. Yeah. You know, you can always get the typical tie, cologne, those types of gifts, which are awesome and great. But last year, this company reached out to us. Their name is StoryWorth, but I cannot tell you how much my my sweet dad loved this gift. I actually have a copy of it from last year, you guys. So basically what Storyboards is, is it's an awesome idea. So they will send your dad prompts every week for an entire year mm -hmm. and ask him questions you never really think to ask him. So about his life stories, about his favorite things, just like random things that you'd never know otherwise about your dad, about Which is really cool. his life, about growing up. like. So many different cool questions and then your dad responds via email and then what happens is they save all of his responses, he can send in pictures and then a year later they send you this beautiful printed book that is a compilation of all those life stories. Like how awesome is that? Yeah. It's this beautiful hardcover book you guys, it's such amazing quality, it has like the title on the side and you flip through it there's all the different stories along with pictures about his life you guys this is the most sentimental meaningful gift i think we've ever given my dad yeah it was really cool he loved it he loved it and honestly it's something that our family's going to cherish forever and i can't wait for like our kids one day to read all about <laughs> it so it's just an overall awesome idea for Father's Day. So, and what's also great is it requires no shipping. So if you're looking for like a last minute gift idea, which I know a lot of us are a lot of the time. I would probably say about 90% of the people watch yeah. this. Yeah, and there's no shipping involved. They literally just send your dad an email. In the prompts that they send every week to your dad, they're thought provoking questions, kind of things that you don't really typically ask your dad. Like this one says, what's something you're most proud of in your life? This one, what was your favorite birthday? Just like fun <laughs> questions like mm -hmm. that. That's, I had no idea what my dad would say and I loved reading his responses. But it's awesome, you guys. We've also done this for my mom this year for Mother's Day and she's loving it. So anyways, you guys, we do have a discount code. If you want to receive $10 off, go to storyworth.com slash Jared and Britt and you'll get $10 off your order. And I think any dad out there will honestly just love it. So hopefully that's helpful for any of you guys looking for a Father's Day gift for your dad. I need to jump into work. This little buddy is so cuddly this morning. You guys, it is a rainy day outside again. We're hoping that the weather clears up. We wanna go on like a fun bike ride later or something. Jared has that really important doctor's visit. So I'm gonna go ahead, jump into work, and we'll check in with you guys in a little bit. What's going on? 
So I was probably like 14 years old, so maybe like 20 years ago, so I'm 34 now. And I was in a skiing accident, and ever since then my hands just kind of like shake, and so I don't know if you can see yeah. with zoom. Like I got a, a Coke here. You kind yeah. of, I don't know if you can tell, but my hand like... Yeah, I can see. Now if you're going to take a sip, let me see what that looks like. You hold it out okay. and then take a sip. Okay, okay. So it's just, a, I don't know if you can tell, but it is a teeny bit. So how's your hand right? Awful. <laughs> I mean, I can do it, but it's not that great. But is there squiggles in it? Um, a little bit, yeah. A little bit of squiggles. So I don't know if it's like nerve damage from when I uh, got into the skiing accident, or if it's uh, something different. Like, you know, maybe I just have like a tremor. Like my grandma had a tremor. It's just annoying because it's like people are always asking me if like I'm nervous right. yeah. <laughs> and so it's pretty embarrassing kind of a quick funny story i was on a business trip in panama and i was coming back and i was going through customs and i had to give the guy my passport and like my ticket you know <laughs> and my hands were shaking so bad and i couldn't stop him and he almost didn't let me through because he thought there was something going on and i was like on, exactly. yeah <laughs> yeah it's it's a thing um Basically, what you're describing is called essential tremor or um, benign familial tremor. Okay. And more likely, you can thank grandma than the ski accident for it. Oh, okay. That's good. So, to know. But, yeah, so I guess. That's, that's a good part to talk to grandma about. But here's the <laughs> thing it's you're pretty young for that to start, but it certainly does affect people young. Yeah. And it's not caused by anxiety. But anxiety will always make it worse. Yeah. So anytime your body is putting out more adrenaline, either you're a little bit anxious or you've been working out or something. But to some degree, it's also one of these self-fulfilling prophecies. Because the more you think about it, the more you shake, the more you shake, the more you think about it. Yeah. And some people, you know, if they're at home doing something, they'll be fine. Yeah. They do the same thing out in public and they're all over the place. Yeah. So, and that's not good because once that kind of gets burnt into your sort of psyche, mm -hmm. it's hard, you know, to make that go back in. Yeah. So, there are treatments, they're not fantastic, but they work so so. so. Okay. So, basically, um, one of the easiest ones is called propranolol or indoterol. It's a beta blocker and it blocks some of that adrenaline effect. So, okay. and it's, it's a safe and easy drug, you know, it's not a narcotic, not going to make you tired, it's, it's okay. Okay. It's just not the strongest drug in the world to deal with this, so it's not going to be completely gone, but it will help. Okay. If you want to see how the medicine is working, what you can do is take a ruler and take, draw two really straight lines with the ruler with a narrow space between them. Okay. Okay. And then you write, draw a straight line between the two lines. Mm, okay. okay. So that gives you a small target, so your brain has kind of got it going. Yeah. And do that, you know, once a week or something like that for a couple of weeks just to see. Okay. And what it should do is reduce the, probably some small fine squiggles in your your straight line. Mm -hmm. uh, they should get better. Got it. Okay. Well, hey, Here. thank you very much, doctor. You got it. You take care. See ya. Bye-bye. Right. Well, guys, that's pretty exciting. A little crazy. This whole time I thought maybe it was from a ski accident, but it sounds like it came from my grandma. The good news is that there's something that can help out with it a little bit. It sounds like it's not a permanent fix. Also, kind of a bummer. It does sound like I may have to deal with it in the future when I'm older, which is definitely something I did not want to hear, but you know, that's just how things go sometimes. Anyway, yeah, hopefully by the time I am at that stage, you know, in life, you know, 30, 40 years down the road, there's gonna be a better solution to fix it. But as of now, sounds like I'm gonna be on this uh, medication. It's gonna help out a little bit. That is definitely very, very exciting. And I hope like crazy it does work, especially since I have, according to him, a minor case of it. It's exciting, but definitely a little bit nerve wracking at the same time. But like the doctor said, I just gotta be chill, which I'm pretty, you know, chill for the most part. I'm rarely stressed of everyone. But it's a great reminder just to be chill and take it easy.
got off a work call. Jared just got done with his doctor's appointment. Yeah. Oh my gosh, babe. I am so curious to see how this went. I heard a little bit of it kind of in and out when I was on and off calls during it. Yeah. But maybe we should start off with why you had this call with the neurologist. So I had this call with the neurologist because my hands shake. So a lot of you guys have commented that. Why do my hands shake? So many of you guys have commented, why do Jared's hands shake? Yeah, I got a little bit of a tremor slash, I'm not really sure what it was. So I actually always thought that it was because of a skiing accident that I had like when I was like 14 years yes. old. Yes, when I met you, that's what he said. He said, I was in a ski accident because I wondered the same thing, like why do your hands always shake? Yeah, and honestly, that's like the only time I remember my hands shaking because I had a, this pretty bad ski accident. It hurt my wrist. You like really landed on your wrist, yeah, right? Yeah, landed on my wrist. And ever since then, it just I just remember them shaking. I put it off forever. Brittany finally motivated me to go see a neurologist. Well, it's because it was getting to the point where like you literally can't even do things. Yeah. Like it's yeah. getting it's pretty to bad. Write. It's hard for me to like sometimes hold like stuff steady. And even like editing and stuff, sometimes yeah. he'll complain about his hands. And I'm yeah. like, babe, you just need to go. Let's see if there's something that can yeah. help with it. So I am so happy that he finally what? I know, she it. finally talked me into it. And he didn't even have to leave our house, you guys. It's virtual. I know, that actually is really cool, that aspect for us. It was awesome. So, Anyways, tell us what happened. This is the lowdown. The doctor said it has nothing to do with my skiing accident. What? And it has every little bit to do with my grandma who had a tremor. So it's, it's somehow, genetic. Genetic, yes. Yeah, somehow I got What? Babe, that is crazy. Yeah. Which I already know how that's even possible, but I guess that's the case. Anyway, he prescribed me a prescription. Okay. And I'm supposed to go pick it up at CVS. Okay. I don't know how long it takes. I guess they're supposed to text me when it's ready. But yeah, that's. So he just said it's genetic and yeah, that's genetic. what he thinks it's from. And yeah, exactly. And if I take this, it's not going to solve it but it should prevent it from shaking as much. Wow, I would have never guessed it was genetic. The whole time I've known you, it's been ski accident. That's the reason for his wrist, but yeah. that is so interesting. That's the last time I remember it shaking at least. Wow, you guys, I can't even like wrap my mind around that. That is I know. so crazy. I know. But hey, I'm glad that there's at least a medicine out there that can help yeah. with it. Awesome, awesome news. <laughs> so many of you, kind of along why we're on doctor's appointments topics, so many of you have asked what's going on with Jared's stomach, doctor, Yes. because he was supposed to have that appointment, what, a week ago or so? Mm -hmm. And I actually got it mixed up, you guys, because he's had two doctor's appointments scheduled. That appointment with the gastrologist is actually in two weeks. Yeah. I was thinking that one was first. Not yeah, that was not for a while. Yeah, that's in July when we get back from New York. So I know. Look at me. So stay tuned, you guys. We're just getting <laughs> knocking all the doctor appointments <laughs> off. You know, you hit 30 and it's just like downhill. Downhill. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, it's good. It's good for figuring this stuff out. Yeah. And I'm so happy it's gonna help you. So that's gonna be awesome. So you guys, great news there. I need to finish up with a few work things really quick. I got a business call that I actually got to start like. Pronto. And then we're hoping the weather stays clear. It stopped raining right now for a little bit because our basket for Finn that goes on our bikes came in the mail. So I cannot wait to put that on and we want to go for a little family bike ride tonight. did not happen tonight. Let's just say the weather has not been the best here. Yes, has not so, been agreeing with us. So we did not take this little guy out on our bike ride, sadly. <laughs> Hopefully we can get out maybe tomorrow or the next yeah. day with him. Because we're so excited to put him in his I know. little basket. I think he'll be so cute in it. But you guys, I just got word that I'm gonna be helping with a church function. Let's just say we are gonna be doing probably the largest Costco haul we have ever done <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. Get ready for a giant summer Costco haul, mm -hmm. which will be really fun. We are going to head to bed, but thanks so much for watching today's video. We love you all so much, and we will see you tomorrow. See you guys, love ya. Bye. Bye.